Okay, this video we're going to work out of constructed truth value for conditional. So condition is given if e, then q. So that's how we read it actually, if e, then q. So how do we come up with a truth value for conditional? Look at this here. Condition is always true except f is true and q is false. So this is the combination we have to find out first. What is the combination we have to find out first? Let me write this down. If the except phi is true, if phi is true and q is false, that is going to give you false. Okay? Otherwise, everything else is going to be true. So let's take a look here. So I just, you know, create a table. So I know there is a two letters. So there is the two letters, two events, two statements. So two statements will have four cases. And of course, I'm going to put this in here. Okay. So I'm going to put this in here just like that. Okay. Now, if e then q. So if true, then true. So I have to look for combination. Which one is like that? If I see true, false, any of them are true, false, it's going to be basically a uh, false okay so true false is this one as you clearly see so this is a true false so that's a false as you see down here so that's a red that's the only combination has true false and therefore it's going to give you false and the rest of them is going to be true that is the condition actually okay so i'm going to just rewrite that true true obviously is going to be true False true is obviously true and false false is obviously true because a condition is given here. If false, then false, which is true. Okay, so that's how we actually feel. Remember, only one pattern, which is true first, false later, next one is going to give you the false. If true, then false. That's how we do conditional. That's how we construct conditional statement thank you